Hi, this is Luke for Production Experts, and this is our first look at the Sheps Omni Channel 2 from Waves. So this is Andrew Sheps' go-to channel strip, and I'm taking a look at the new features that come in version 2. On drums, I'm using the new Crush Saturation Algorithm and the new Soft Knee Compressor for some extra edges and density across my drums. And if I crank up the saturation and go through the four different algorithms, you can really hear the difference that that is making. And same goes for the four modes now, including the soft knee compression. We'll just pull the threshold all the way down. Don't have to worry about makeup because it's auto gain. So I can go a little bit lower with the threshold there and get a more cohesive sound without it going too crazy. On bass, I'm using the new 24 dB per octave filter just to get rid of the sub octave with any subsonic stuff going on down there. And because it's resonant, I can also add a little bit of a bump before it drops off that cliff. <laughs> And with the resonance just to get the effect that I want. Now those filters are really coming into their own on guitar because I can use the high pass filter to add some cabinet clunk with some resonance. Then I can use the same resonance on the low pass filter just to get some extra bite for my guitars without fizzying out the top end. I'll crank the resonance. Then that lovely thump at the bottom. I can insert other Waves plugins in here as well, but now I can also choose any third party plugin and choose from those two. Now there's nothing to stop me from using the Omni Channel 2 across my entire mix. And I'm, at the moment I'm using it just for a tiny bit of EQ. But also if I knock in the compressor, I can get some extra glue as well. So extra versatility in there and also some great new features for Shep's Omni Channel 2. To find out more about Shep's Omni Channel 2 and to read our full article, head over to the Production Experts blog.